wear her pure dignity and this is the Code Red Project. The whole point of the project was that those who don't have a pad at school and suddenly get their period have something to rely on. Um, and so Code Red was kind of what came to us because you, you have your period, you don't have a pad, it's like alarms in your head. You're like, Code Red, Code Red. So that's where the name came from. Um, and we find that it's really important really just for the students who they don't have a pad. They maybe they feel embarrassed to ask a friend for a pad or a tampon or you know they don't want to ask a teacher and they're just uncomfortable. The pads are just there to support those students who don't have anything on them. So we feel that the most important change is for individuals at ISB to feel safe and comfortable when they are menstruating and they are at campus because because we understand how exhausting having a period can be and also like just to feel like you're backed up and you're safe. I think that is one of the most important things. And we actually also sent out a survey for initial feedback and we found that people really appreciated the openness of this project and how it just wasn't taboo. Because like we, we already did have vendors and we, we have pads available at the nurses, but we still feel like they're hidden. And this should be something that's talked about because it's so normal. Like about half of the ISB population deals with this. So that's like one of the most important things. Other activities we do to support the Code Red project is host period parties with the middle school classes in order to talk to them about periods and destigmatize periods because they might not know as much about it. And then in that, in those period parties, we would introduce to them that, like our Code Red project and how there's pads in the middle school bathrooms if they need it. We actually received uh, lots of positive feedback on this project and found that a lot of students found that the openness of the project, because the pads are genuinely just there on the basin, it was really like demanding attention. And it's like, this is normal, this is real, and it's here. Um, and so we think that that's a really good message to send out to all of our students, regardless of gender or whether they have a period or not, um, to understand that a period is normal, it's here, and yeah. <laughs> so we, we feel that um, adding these products in the fifth grade bathrooms is very important and also having tampons as we do acknowledge that other individuals feel more comfortable using tampons and having these tampons like really implemented in the sports complex bathrooms as we understand that athletes feel more comfortable using tampons when they're menstruating and having these products in, in the faculty and the staff member bathrooms and for anyone who visits the ISB campus additionally also in the gender neutral bathrooms and and our top goal and our top like um, things that we look forward to is that after we are able to like successfully execute this project we would love to inspire other international schools in Bangkok to do the same thing. <laughs>